Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a slightly different video because I'm going to be talking a little bit about my reading routine and uh, how I read so much, I guess. It's one of the questions I get a lot. The short and simple answer is that A, I'm a fast reader, and B, I spend a lot of time reading. But we're going to go a little bit more in depth into that today. So, um, for a start, I mean, I always in general, I try and cram as much as I can into every single day. I'm big on multitasking, so when I'm watching BookTube, I'm usually working. So, when I'm reading, it's usually because perhaps I'm on public transport or something on that. So, trains, buses, aeroplanes, even in cars, if Becca's driving somewhere because I don't drive. So, if... I'm a passenger or something like that, I will read as much as I can. I use it as a, you know, a way to get ahead of things. I also build in reading into my, you know, into my day-to-day -day life. So what I actually do is I follow something called the schedule, which I can talk some more about in a future video if you guys are interested, just let me know. Basically, the schedule is what I use to keep myself as productive as possible, and that runs in like 45-minute loops. So what I do is I'll do 45 minutes following the schedule, and then five minutes of reading. I'll just pick up a book and just read for five minutes. I know a lot of people can't do that. Personally, I've never had a problem with just putting books down at any point and picking them back up. I finish the page I'm on, and that's about it. I don't have to read to the end of a paragraph or anything like that. So that helps. Because again, there are always like little dead moments. I carry a, ruck, uh, a rucksack around where, whenever I leave the house. That's always got a, my current book in it. So if I'm at the doctors or the dentists or something like that and I'm waiting, I can I can br bring my book out. When we went to Germany, actually, I managed to read about 60 pages of my book just while we were standing in the line waiting to go through passport control. So I just try and squeeze that in as much as possible. As I said, every day after my 45 minute loops, I'll then read for five minutes. So throughout a day, that probably gives me about 45 minutes of reading, something like that. I've been listening to audiobooks recently, which I haven't done as much in the past. I've only been doing one audiobook a month. I actually only really listen to audiobooks for rereads, and that's always been the case for me. So I'm probably going to continue that into the new year and continue to reread one book a month via audiobook. I could probably squeeze that up to maybe three or four if I really sort of concentrated on it and pushed it, but at the moment I'm not too worried. I am actually currently doing a walk a day, which takes me about half an hour, and I have been listening to music, but I've also been playing this app called The Zombies Run, which is basically like an interactive audiobook almost that you power by walking or running. So once I kind of complete the story mode on that or whatever, or just get bored of listening to music, I might start listening to my audiobooks while I walk as well, because that'll get a few extra ones in. I also read a little bit in bed. I normally read about 20 odd pages. I, I have a separate stack of books for my bedside. They're usually the books that are, um, you know, maybe they've got smaller print or they're on a more intense subject or maybe they're just really deep, like non-fiction philosophy, stuff like that. Uh, I read Homer's Odyssey like that recently. And basically I just keep it on my bedside, read sort of 20 pages a night and it just helps me to unwind before I go to sleep. So that's how I squeeze those in as well. In general though, I don't find it too difficult to breeze through books. I usually read one every couple days, two, three days, something like that. Uh, faster potentially when you bear in mind that there's also the audio books coming in, the bedside books, so those kind of all bring the average up. And if I, say I go to visit my mom, I will probably spend three, four hours on the train each way. And so that all adds up to like seven hours reading time. So I can usually read a book or two books just on the commute. So that's always good. In terms of how I pick which book I'm going to read next, I have a system for that as well. So I always go kind of uh, existing author to me and then new author and try and switch between the two each time. So for existing authors, for example, I've just read James Herbert, The Rats, never read any James Herbert, so he's my new author. So next I'm going to read The Little Steamroller, which is a children's book by Graham Greene, who's one of my favourite authors. And then after that I have a EUPL, which is like prize winning books from Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia and again they're all authors who are new to me so that's how I try and rotate between the two and that kind of helps me because I get I'm a bit of a completionist so there are certain authors I just want to read every single book that they've released and so by alternating between new to me authors and authors who I've read before it means that I don't just end up just reading someone's back catalogue I'm constantly discovering new authors to me and uh yeah, it also helps with when I get sent books and stuff like that, or I have to read books for work, maybe. It kind of allows me to, to switch things up. So I think that's about it for... Oh, Biggie is joining the shot. 
So I think that's about it for this video anyway. I mean, it's pretty short and simple. I don't have any major hacks or any tips and tricks or anything. It, it's just a case of reading as much as you can and as fast as you can, I guess. I mean, it's not like a race or anything like that, but it's just how I've evolved my reading style, I guess. I mean, if you spend enough time reading, you do just get a bit faster at it, I think. So that's kind of how I keep up the pace. And then, yeah. Yeah. So there we go anyway, hopefully that gave you a good idea of how I read and I've kind of tried to splice in a few little shots as well just to kind of show you where it is that I read. Obviously usually it's just here pretty much or in a car or on a train as we've covered but um, yeah, I just try and read as much as possible just because I love doing it, same as everyone. Well, everyone on BookTube. So there we have it. On that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what your reading routine looks like. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. And I realised where I was. I heard the dog bark behind our house. Not where he was. But see, when Mrs. Harker came in to see me this afternoon, she wasn't the same. It was like tea.